Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today, I wanted to go over PLC SIM Advanced version 4.0 from Siemens. Uh, just to open up the software, you go to Start and then PLC SIM Advanced 4.0. As you can tell, there's the control panel itself, and it has online access. You can go through PLC SIM, or you can have your virtual adapter, which will actually make a uh, Ethernet adapter onto your computer. I keep it normally on PLC SIM. The second thing is, is that you want to open up a virtual S7-1500. So once you actually drop down this menu, then that's where you can create your instance. So today, I'll just put test. So that is going to be the location that it's going to make. And then it will be an S7-1500. So I will drop that down. And then once I press start, it's actually going to create a virtual S7-1500 on my PC. So... It is now in stop and waiting for download. So I'm going to move this window off to the side and to pin it to your uh, screen so it actually is always active, you can hit this uh, push pin. So it'll actually pin it to the screen. So when I'm clicking on the TI Portal V17 or whatever software you are using, it will stay on the screen. Or let's just say I don't want it to stay on the screen while I'm working, I can then unpin it. So just so you know how to do that. So I want to pin it so I can actually keep track of what's going on. So I've already created a project, call it 4.11.23, which is today's date. And I'm just going to add an S7-1500. So I just add new device, go to S7-1500, CPU, and I'll just grab the first PLC, K01. And I'm going to say OK. One thing that you do want to make sure is that no other PLC sims are actually running on your computer. If you have issues, just double check that those are actually turned off if they were on at one point. So once I get the PLC uh, put onto my project, I want to actually compile that project. And right now it's going to have a password issue because by default on V17, they have password protection put on by default and you must disable that that it's some type of safety feature that Siemens has put out there. Uh, I, you know, while I'm testing, I normally just turn it off. So I'm not constantly having to put in my password every single time. So as always, save, compile, make sure there's no errors. And then at this point, I will single click on the PLC and then I will press download. At this point, it's going to ask if it's a trustworthy device. Consider it as a trustworthy device. At this point, it will say, hey, are you ready to download? Say load. It's going to compile it one more time. And then download. And then I'm going to start the PLC. Say finish. And at this point, the PLC will start to go into run. And now it's in run. So at this point, I could just go to OB1. Let's just add a couple inputs and an output. And let's go M0.0, .0, just to give it some flag memory, which will turn on M0.1. And then we can download that. Load it. And then I could go online with it. And I can actually see this value actually come on and off, just like it should. Go to a 1. And I'll see that M0.1 came on. And if I look over here, it's in run. So same thing. If it was a real PLC, you would see it stop. I could press stop right here. And it's going to ask me, do you want to stop it? And say yes. And it does stop. I go back into run. Say OK. I can also choose, as you can tell, it's trying to start up. And finally, it's running. Uh, I can also choose to memory reset this PLC. And it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to delete all this data that's inside this emulated PLC? Yes. Memory reset will only allow if the PLC is in stop. So let's put the PLC in stop and say yes. And now at this point, we've actually completely erased the PLC. This is how you use PLC Sim Advance. Thanks for watching.